Welcome to part three in the 3D certification course, Tips and Common Problems. In this lesson, we will discuss the most common problems that you may encounter in both the design and printing process. We will also discuss tips and solutions that will correct or help avoid these mistakes. Your project may need to go through many rounds of adjustments and trials before you are happy with the final result. This is all part of the design process. Trial and error are expected in 3D printing. You may have come across the problem of having too many overhangs. Supports often mean an unperfect finish like we learned in the last lesson. Try to reduce the amount of overhang angles that require support, and this will improve the overall finish and quality of your object. This may mean splitting your object into multiple pieces or altering the design to have fewer overhang angles in total. For example, in the file pictured here, the orientation of the figure's arms can be changed so as not to require so many supports. When supports are too tall and thin, which is common for many delicate and fine objects, they may tip over during the printing process before they are able to support an overhanging angle. This will cause everything on your object to droop. To correct this, you will need to alter your design to allow for thicker supports or remove any isolated towers. All 3D printers have a minimum wall thickness based on the nozzle on the extruder. If a print job fails due to weak points, thicken the walls in your design and try again. Fine details are difficult and up to the capabilities of the printer. Not all details will appear as they do in their digital file, but you will only be able to see this after your item is printed. You can correct this by adjusting settings in the library slicer software. When you are preparing your item, you may alter the speed of the print with staff permission. Warping commonly happens during very long print jobs. The plastic is sitting on the printing bed for so long that it eventually cools too much and starts lifting off the plate. This can only be solved through a reprint. Cracking occurs when layers separate as they cool at different rates. This problem is difficult to control. Staff can investigate if this is a mechanical issue, for example, a problem with the fan. Otherwise, the only solution would be a reprint. Misaligned layers are usually completely random and isolated events. Sometimes they are very subtle, and other times they are very exaggerated. The only solution would be a reprint. Let's recap this lesson. We learned that a successful 3D print is often the result of trial and error. Sometimes you may have to go back to the drawing board and make changes to your original design. Or you'll need to make changes in the slicer software. With staff permission, you can change the speed, infill percentage, or the layer height. Most of the time, the problem will be solved with a single reprint. To complete the 3D certification course, click on the next and final lesson using Vaughn Public Library's 3D printers.